Welcome back kids. Um, it's time for some expansion Arama. Um, because we've got money and we've got a surplus and we've got problems with trash. So we can tackle all of those things by making more things, probably. Um, what I'm going to do, actually, is I've noticed we've got access to the railway line, but not to railway infrastructure. Bollocks. Bollocks, bollocks, bollocks. That completely screws that up. Um, what we can do though is connect these areas up to our transport network because why the devil not why why are you doing that why are you doing ah there we go that's why It's not the best, but since when have I done anything as the best? At least it's connected. At least it's connected. Let's not complain. Uh, I need to unlock railway stuff. Um, <clears throat> which I guess we'll get to eventually. So in the meantime then, what I might do... I'm scared to... I'm sort of scared to extend this up, which I need to do. This is going to be the lifeline really that brings people in and out of the city. Um, so instead what I'm gonna do is... Oh, we still have so much demand for residential. Um, I'm gonna build another residential area between here... That's not gonna work. Is that lined up? It doesn't feel like it is. No, it's not. Let's build that. I know technically it's cheating to do it that way, but whatever. Is that straight? Yeah. Of course it is. Now, what's the best way to do this? See? If we don't interrupt traffic going this way, I think that's better. I base that on absolutely nothing. It's so rough this terrain. Right. We definitely, definitely, definitely have a problem which can only be resolved by building more residential because that's what the people want so that's what we shall do let's get residential and some commercial demand as well which can go here did I ever build because I've just come back from my holiday did I ever build that power plant What's going on with this? No more room at the landfill. Twat. Twat, twat, twat. There is only one solution to this very, very real problem. And it's a stupid solution because that's the only solution I know. Double landfill. That's a problem I'm going to have to sort out later. This city is a mess. I'm so bad at this game. Um, let me look at the state of this. This is all bollocks. I am left wondering though why he went that way rather than that way. But yeah, that, wh sorry whoever you are, you're fucked. Um, don't want to cut into the forestry, obviously. Um, and I think, to be honest, if we... There has to be a way of... getting traffic out of here and into this area 
and then connecting it to the green and to Whiteland from the south. And then hopefully only people who actually need to be in the town continue on this road up. The question is how best to make that happen. One thing is for sure, we need... We need many things. This is more complicated than I first thought. By the way, if I go bankrupt or completely screw this up, I will start again. Um, probably on a flatter map, if I'm honest. Um, so we'll consider this a learning process. See, it's hard to establish exactly how much traffic we're going to get. But rather than everyone sharing one off-ramp, off if I can somehow sector it a bit, and we'll have like our ore industry over here, I think that would be in some way good. That would be in some way good. So, I know this is going to look awful. I'm going to have to trust that that's going to work. How did I... that's... please don't crash on me game. Alright, what I need to do is... curve it please. Why is it doing that to me? God, that's ugly. It looks like Birmingham. <laughs> it looks like Birmingham. This is stupid. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, but I've unlocked the metro, which I don't need. Actually, the metro could be a good way of... Bug it off. Right. No, 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 no. Pull that off. Okay, I see the problem. Bear with me. I'm so inexperienced. It's not even funny. I mean, well, it, it, it is maybe a bit. What's that? Let's try it from this side. That's horrible. In every sense of the word horrible. But but it should do the job. And that's really all we care about. So To zone. The forge. Pulses can we have here? Mm, none of that's going to work.
Uh, so zoning, this can be for ore. Okay, now. Hopefully. I hope this will, um, first of all, address some of our demand here for um, for industrial. Um, we do need to connect that to some power, but hey, guess what? This is a perfect place for that oil power plant. Yeah, screw you, nature. And you know what, we can have a landfill here as well. I'm just burning through my money. And it's also actually going to need a fire station. Because fires will happen. And it's going to need water. So let's pause the game. That's the opposite of pausing the game. To hook up some water. And let's bring some of this nice new power into the city. In an ugly way, of course, because we are building the world's ugliest city. Um... There we go, nice! Nice! So we spent a bit of our, our money there. I'm quite happy to have this here, it's sort of well out of the, ci <coughs> the city proper. Take a drink. I've been eating peanuts all morning, salted peanuts, and it just it dries out your your voice. And uh, during the last episode, I almost choked myself to death and had to cut it out afterwards. <coughs> so we're getting to the stage where we're going to need some bigger public services, uh, which I'm going to do in a coastal zone up here. Whiteland we're going to turn into office space, that was right. Uh, can we do office zones? Yes we can, yes we can. So, bit of repurposing going on. Admittedly, not many people will want their offices next to wind turbines and three dumps, but beggars can't be choosers. Beggars cannot be choosers. Actually, it might not be the worst idea to pop down some offices here. High density residential is now unlocked. Super, super. So let's do that. Let's build ourselves a block of. Always with the bridges. Fucking annoying. Does 
There's so much redundant space. Water first. See, and hopefully by closing these factories up here and then what we need at some point is a freight rail station to bring the freight into the city to avoid to avoid the trucks and I think I can run a rail line down here to a station here and that's pretty much in the center of what's going to be the outskirts southern suburbs of the proper city that's actually going to work out quite neatly um, I'm pleased about that. <coughs> Things are going nicely here. I'm thinking I need to find a way to help people get to work. Um, I think it could be time, you know, to build a metro. Just a little one. Uh, because especially now that we've got an office area to worry about. And that can live there. Stick one up in the forestry. Um, we're going to have our railway station there actually, so if I can find a place that would be particularly arousing. Oh no, I don't have enough money. Never mind, we've got a surplus, we'll get there. We'll get there. That's the world's most useless metro. What can I do about loans, maybe? Did I take loans? I don't have any loans. Yeah, do you know what? Is there a way to get this somewhere neat? Is it better up here, maybe? I think it is. And then we need one somewhere near the baseball ground. I'm sorry to all the people whose houses I'm destroying here, but it's for the greater good. And I know that makes me sound a bit like Hitler, but... It is. How am I doing for cash? Wow, I'm getting through that pretty quick. Uh, one for the park, I reckon. <sighs> yeah, we'll... Hmm. It's going to take a while to complete this. I might have to take that with a loan. This could be what kills the city. <laughs> Let's see. At least let's connect what we've got in case I run out of money. Can I squeeze that in? Not quite, but I'm getting close to connecting all these. And then I just need one in inhaler really. Turn the speed up a bit. Watch the forge grow. People's happiness is going up. Population's growing. 
the bank balance is growing, might have enough money to to get somewhere now. Let's connect you. Almost. There we go. And we just need one in Hala. And I think we're good. Um, it's it's good to make this investment early on, I feel, because we're already getting to the stage where, you know, especially down here, we've got a real traffic problem. Um, it seems the farms are still actually driving a lot of our economic activity, although we have lost the traffic that will be coming to factories here. The problem is with moving our factories out of town, we need to make sure they're connected, otherwise the commercial districts will have nothing to sell and they'll go out of business and that kind of causes your... Um, it can cause your city to collapse like a flan in a cupboard, <coughs> as they say. But it's all going nicely. Um, I can run over overground trains and freight, overground passenger trains and freight trains actually down here, and that will that will serve us quite nicely. I think it's not going to interfere with anyone too much. Um, still having trouble getting fire engines to that place in time. So that's another planning problem to work on. How are we for dead people? I know dead people can often be a problem, um, but it looks like so far we're all right. It's good to know. It's good to know. This is filling up really nicely. I'm I'm really pleased about this actually. It's going to generate quite a lot of tax for us. The incineration plant I'm not interested in right now. While we've got Full going. Um, let's finish our metro system. How about that? So, space already occupied. That does minimum damage. Oh, yeah. See, and then we can connect through this station to another ring further north as the city gets to where it should be. And we'll have them running both ways because we're not barbarians. Not going to make people ride the subway all the way around to get to the next stop. Sweet. So, our traffic problems should begin to lighten, and then we're going to end up with not too dissimilar from what we've got now, where you'll start to see these cars disappear and just more trucks coming in. I was worried that I was going to be uh, too scared of industry, uh, because I, I, I do value having a, a green city, but we seem to be striking a balance so far, actually, where, you know... We've got quite a bit of green in the residential areas of the city and we're doing quite a good job of segregating the waste and the the pollution generating industries. Um, still no trains, boats or planes, but that's good because we don't need them. We don't need them! Uh, how are we for education? Can we get a... We can get a university, we just don't have the cash. First thing I'm going to do actually is pay back that loan and that will boost our monthly takings and then I'm going to turn the speed up and pause the video here or oh, look at the state of that pollution <laughs> uh, I need to invest in water treatment facilities um, and I will be back in a little while once we've built up a little bit of money and we can uh, 
expand some more. See you soon. Okay, welcome back. So we have a problem with not enough workers, um, which I'd like to resolve with an overground train, but I'm thinking we might have to resolve with buses, potentially. Um, so I'm going to build another bus station. Which is a 30 grand investment, which I'm not thrilled about, but needs as must. And we're going to build a workers' bus temporarily. <laughs> oh god, that's going all over the place. Um, which. We want to connect to this stop, really. <laughs> Not great, but we need a way to get people down here. Um, of course, this is driving a lot of demand for um, residential, which we're now going to have to move to satisfy. I'm thinking what the forge could do with is a little village for the workers, which is very much how things used to be done once upon a time. Um, then again, it's going to interfere, isn't it? It's going to interfere. We're starting to see some people coming into these jobs actually, these these are disappearing. Um, so what we'll do is we'll expand once more. I've already begun laying out a grid network because I noticed that these people were not getting any education. Which, call me old fashioned, but um, it's not really acceptable. We'll throw up some high density residential there. I'm aware that we're starting to get policing problems. Um, we need hospitals, we need big police stations, all that kind of stuff. So it's getting to the stage where I might need to save up some more money and finally bring this road up across and start building the city proper. Um, you know, obviously I'll buy this land and this land at some point and sort of round out this suburb, but. Yeah, all things considered, it's probably about time to look at starting the proper city. I'm pleased that we've had no major disaster so far, that's economically crippled us. But it is coming time to uh, come good on the potential. You guys are still suffering. So it seems to be these that are causing the traffic jam, actually. So if I dezoned this... Let's just watch for a minute. I mean, that intersection is not helping either. But it, as you can see, it's only a momentary delay. It's stuff stopping for these that causes... Real change. But it is booming. Um, it is definitely booming. Which is good, you know. It's good to have a boom industry. Um, suffering with trash again. I'm not really sure what I can do about that without putting a dump in the city centre, which I'm kind oh. of reluctant to do. 
What's an incineration plant cost? 30 grand. It's not so big. Where can I put this? That's all industry, right? Slam it there. Sorry, you people. Your big fancy... Villa <laughs> is going to go down in value a wee bit, but... Um, I don't want to end up with an uh, epidemic health problem. We also really need a university. We really do need a university. Yeah, I, rail is our best way to, to get freight into this area and out of it, I think because we're just clogging up our roads. Fortunately, this isn't too badly affected because you've got those other lanes free, so the traffic is still flowing. And this is obviously traffic that may have been forced to enter the, the outskirts of the city, which, you know, this is looking a bit better already. What have we unlocked here? Train stations. Perfect. Perfect. And industrial space planning. Bring that in. Doubles the amount of goods produced in industry buildings. Yes. And that's going to cost us a bit, but we'll make it back. I'm certain. And now the time has come to invest pretty hardcore in uh, rail. So, cargo train terminal needs to be on a big road. I know the space is already occupied. Can't I bulldoze it? Apparently not. I can build it here. Which I'm prepared to do. And that's costing me 60 grand. But it's worth it. Or it will be eventually. And we need passenger rail as well. Which ideally should be on a, a bigger road too. Um... Somewhere along here, possibly. Hmm. Or can I actually... Back in a minute. <laughs> So, you've just seen me plunk down the city centre cargo terminal, or the outskirts city centre cargo terminal, which has immediately caused all our industry here to upgrade, which is good news. It's very good news. And what we're going to do is plunk down a wee bit of commercial and office space there. And some more factories there. And this can this can be offices as well. So obviously that was quite a major investment. Let me show you what I've done. We've got a train station here. Um fix that quick. Um, 
which is enough to allow us um, to bring some very light tourism in. There's not much to bring them here at the moment, but we are connected to the outside world now through this junction. Um, the line then comes down here, raises up over here, passes by the green, swings on down, and then splits off here to deliver workers to this small station here. And to connect to our main cargo terminal here, which we're going to eventually connect here as well to hopefully get some of these trucks off the bloody road. In fact, I might make that happen now. How much do these all cost? Oh, not much at all. I'm going to begin purchasing the space we need for our city. That was stupid of me, but hey ho. The city's going to be over these three squares with the outskirts here, and then I'm going to probably have these here as well to um, to basically allow us to have some outside connection and some smaller stuff on the outskirts of town. Anyway, let's let's begin. So the city centre is going to fall exactly here which is a bugger. It's a real pain in the arse. But we'll make it work. What I'll do then to finish off this video is I'll expand around here, expand up to the coast here, and then get ready in the next episode to extend our main road up. And if we've got enough squares to use, um, it might be a good idea to connect. There's a road somewhere else as well, uh, here probably two squares to reach that though, so maybe not going to happen. Yeah, we're going to be relying on this road, which means I've got to make sure that this road is as free-flowing and useful as possible. So it's probably going to come up here and then swing around to connect up here. Um, the wealthy coastal region will probably be here, and then the real city will be built around here. So. Exciting times ahead. What have we done this episode? Well, we've built the forge, which is our ore mining... What do you call it? We've invested in quite a bit more waste disposal. Um, we've also added some high-density commercial and residential up to the north here to sort of emphasise that we're beginning to build what will become the city. Um, we have also built a metro and a new bus line and we've connected ourselves by rail to the outside world, although nothing has really come of that yet. I've not seen one train. <laughs> Which is irritating. I've seen this line be used. Uh, it's a bit of a cock tease that it's so close to the border there and I can't connect to it. But hopefully next time this will become active and we will start to see some of these trucks disappear off our bloody roads. Oh, last thing. Let's build our university. Is there a good place for that? I think it should be in Saitorimon Square. I think that makes sense. Can I build it somewhere, please? Let's slam it there. Big investment, but definitely, definitely, definitely worth it. I'll connect that to the Metro in the next episode. Um, but we're starting to have some skilled people. And this can be... The Simon Smith University. And we'll just extend... It's no longer a square, but you know what? He's not a square either. Daddy-o. I think that covers everything. Thank you so very, very much for joining me. It's great to be back. I'm going to be making as many videos as possible over the next few days. Um, my city is ugly as all balls, but you know what? We're learning. It's a learning process. Um, Thanks again, and we'll talk very, very soon, no doubt.